Hi there. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through installing Karma for the first time and also importing the XML demo content. Um, so the first step is to download the files from Th Team Forest. Um, and when you do that, uh, you're just going to want to unzip the files. Um, and in that folder, you're going to see um, karma.zip. And this is the actual theme itself. Um, also, if you plan to manually install the theme, um, it's located right here in the Karma folder. Um, so we're going to hop back over to our demo site. Uh, this is just a um, this is running locally on our server. It's a fresh install of WordPress. Um, so you go into the dashboard and click on Appearance and Themes, and then we're going to click Install Themes. Uh, and then we're going to choose Upload and then browse. Um, and now you just want to locate the folder that you just unzipped from ThemeForest and within that folder you'll see karma.zip so you just select that and click open and click install now. Okay, theme installed successfully so now we're going to activate the theme. Um, and that's about it, the theme is now activated. Um, <clears throat> now that the theme is activated, you'll see there's a couple different uh, new options over here. First one is the site options um, panel, and this is um, the custom options panel where you can set up a lot of your different settings on your website. And uh, we'll go through this in more detail in, um, in another video. And also you'll see the sidebars button, and this is where you can create all your custom sidebars. Um, and again, we'll cover this in more detail in another video. Um, <clears throat> okay, now to import the demo content, um, first you're going to want to download the XML file, and uh, we're going to provide you a download link right up right up above uh, this video. Um, so first you download the XML, um, <clears throat> then you come back to your dashboard and click on Tools and Import, and then you're going to click on WordPress. And uh, if you haven't already installed the WordPress importer, um, it'll just give you a dialog box and ask you to install it. So you just have to click install. Um, and then once you do that, you uh, just click on browse. And now you're just going to want to locate the XML file that you downloaded. Um, and again, the link is going to be right above this video. So you just download it right from there. Um, so you just choose the file and click open. <clears throat> and then you click upload file and import. Okay, and uh, up here it allows you to assign um, posts to a specific user. So you can just select whatever user on your site that you want to attribute the post to. Um, and then we're going to click download and import file attachments. And click submit. Okay, and it says all done. Um, <clears throat> now we're just going to go through some basic settings to uh, kind of get the site into like a basic shell um, as a good starting point for you. Um, so the first step is to tell WordPress which page is our home page and which page is our blog page. Uh, so to do that we click on settings and reading and then we're going to want to choose um, static front page and for front page we choose home and post page we choose blog. Alright and then we're just going to save the changes. Um, and in this demo, I'm going to go ahead and use the jQuery 2 template because that's what the, uh, the demo content, that's what the home page is using. Um, so we just have to activate that template in the custom options panel. Uh, so to do so, you just click on um, appearance and site options. Um, and then over here, we're going to click on home page settings. Um, and then this box right here, you just check the box and that'll activate the uh, jQuery 2 template um, and then we just have to select the category that we want to pull from so this is the post that it's going to pull in um, so on this demo site we're going to choose home page slider okay then we're going to scroll down and save all changes um, <clears throat> okay now the next step is to uh, turn on the navigation um, so to do so you just click over on appearance and menus um, and you'll see that it already has three different menus created for you. These are from the XML content. Um, so you got your footer navigation, the main navigation, and the top toolbar navigation. And we'll go all th through all three of those in a moment. 
Um, so to turn on the nav, the main nav, you just right over here under theme locations, um, you just click the drop down and choose main navigation, and then save. Um, okay, and now we're going to come back over here and refresh, and you'll see, um, <clears throat> you know, we have a little bit of something going on, on the site. Um, you know, we imported all the demo content, so you'll see there's a couple of different pages. You got um, just a couple of different, uh, you know, the about section with a couple of different sub pages. Uh, we provided the short codes page just so in case you wanted to see any of the short codes, um, how they're properly formatted. So all the different short codes are there. Um, we've got a gallery page. We'll have to set this up a little bit and we'll do that in just a moment. Uh, and then we've got our blog and our contact page. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and go set up the gallery page. So we're gonna click back over to the dashboard and we're gonna click on pages and then we're gonna click on gallery um, and anytime you're creating a portfolio page um, or a gallery page all you have to do is choose one of these portfolio templates so there's a few you know there's a bunch of different options here the one column two column three and four column so you just choose whichever template you want um, and then you just have to tell it what tell the page which category to pull from so right down here you'll see that we have this custom um, portfolio category box with a drop down list so then you're just going to want to select the category that you want to pull from um, on this demo we're going to choose gallery and we're going to update the page um, and now if we go to posts you'll see that um, we have a few posts that already have the gallery category so I'm just going to filter these real quick so these are the uh, five posts that we already have. So we provided you with the, all the different types. So there's iframe, uh, basic image, YouTube, Vimeo, and Flash. Um, so now you just have to go ahead and um, add post thumbnails. Um, so basically anytime you're creating a post that you want to add to a gallery or a portfolio page, um, you simply create the new post. Uh, make sure you give it the proper category, whatever you set uh, for your page. Um, and right over here, you'll see that there's this custom um, portfolio input field. And this is going to be the URL to the full size um, item. So it can be a full, it can be an image, um, it can be a YouTube video, a Flash video, a Vimeo video, or an iframe. And we provide samples for you right here. Uh, so this one's just using an iframe. Um, and then you just have to, for the thumbnail that shows up on the page, that's controlled over here with featured image. So you just hit uh, set featured image and uh, media library and we're just going to choose this demo image um, and then you just click use as featured image and then you just close the window and update um, and that's it and that's pretty much uh, you would just go through and that's how you create all your different uh, gallery items. Um, <clears throat> now in terms of the uh, we're just going to click back on the home page. Um, in terms of the different navigations, so the main nav is already set up. Um, now we're going to go ahead and set up the footer navigation. Um, so to do that, we're going to click back over to the dashboard and uh, click on Appearance and Widgets. And uh, you'll see over here on the right-hand side, this is all the different built-in sidebars that are already in place throughout the theme. Um, and you can also create your own custom sidebars which would get displayed on a, um, on a page that's using the sidebar template. Um, so you'll see down at the bottom here, we have uh, footer copyright left side, and then we have footer navigation uh, right side. Um, <clears throat> so um, it already has a custom menu in there, um, and if it wasn't in there, I'll just show you how to add that. Um, so we're just going to drag that out of there. Um, so to add a menu, add your footer menu, um, you just click uh, you just click and drag custom menu and you just want to put it right down here in uh, footer nav right side um, you don't have to worry about a title because it's not going to show up anywhere so just leave that blank and then you're just going to want to select your menu um, so right here we have footer navigation and we'll hit save and uh, if we come back here and refresh you'll see that we have our footer navigation okay and we're also going to set up our top toolbar navigation um, so it's a similar process. Um, you just right here, same thing on the widgets page. Um, up at the top, you'll see toolbar left side and toolbar right side. Um, so this one already has the menu in there. Um, so again, I'm just going to drag it out 
and drag a new one back in. So we'll just uh, locate custom menu and drag it right in the sidebar um, and just choose your menu from the drop down list. So we'll choose top toolbar navigation and you hit save and refresh. And then you'll see we have our top toolbar nav up in place. Um, and that's about it. I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, going through, you know, the rest of the videos, we'll, we'll show you how to use all, of, um, you know, all the different aspects. But, um, you know, you'll see that right here you have kind of a basic shell um, to use as a starting point um, to build out your website. So I hope this was helpful and uh, please stay tuned.